Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show we'll talk Bulldog softball, we'll meet the new Ferris State women's soccer coach and we'll also talk track and field. First up, Bulldog softball and head coach Marie Foster and coach welcome back to the show. Thanks Rob. This past weekend uh, the Bulldogs playing home games but unfortunately uh, due to the weather conditions moved to Grand Rapids, uh, the Grand Rapids area, Davenport University and uh, the big thing for the Bulldogs, I guess, four wins and uh, you run your winning streak to six straight. Yeah, absolutely. We, we Obviously, you don't want to leave or you don't want to leave your home site, but an hour is not too far away. So um, we're lucky to get those games in and we, we turned out doing pretty well. So we're happy with it. Bulldogs uh, taking on Lake Erie on Friday and yeah. then, uh, of course, Walsh University, uh, one, one of the new schools in the conference on Saturday. And going into that series, uh, both days, uh, somewhat uh, new opponent for, for you, especially in the first year. Uh, just, just talk about uh, what you expected coming in. You know, I, we, I mean, we went into the weekend expecting to win four, and that was our goal, and we did, so that was good. Um, you know, we had a lot more uh, feedback from, from uh, Lake Erie than we had on Walsh because Walsh was new. But, you know, Walsh was uh, looking at their stats from last year. They, they had a very good, good season, you know, at an NAI. They, they, their pitching was pretty good. We didn't know what to expect. So um, we just kind of went in and with our goals and came out on top. First game against uh, Lake Erie on, on Friday and good weather conditions, almost perfect weather conditions, and, and certainly a perfect game for the Bulldogs. Dana yeah. Bowler uh, with the perfect game and a, and a nine to nothing victory. Yeah, it, that was great to see her come in and throw and dominate, and uh, she did a great job. You know, I think you know 15, 15 batters and uh, three up, three down every inning. So that was exciting for her, but also for our team to you know come in and set that tone right away when we hit the ball hard. Talk about uh, the balance you were able to get, as we see from some of the highlights, uh, a number of different hitters uh, really able to contribute uh, in, in all four games this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, you know, when you, when you score that many runs, you know, you have, you're producing all the way down the line. So uh, it's good to see their, their pitching wasn't exceptionally strong, so, but we still be, have to be able to sit back and drive that ball, and, and we did that. So uh, I was happy with that. Um, a lot of contributors down the line. So. You know, hopefully we're, we wanted that to play into the next day as well. Obviously, uh, Dana Bowler uh, mm -hmm. picks up the victory and one of three victories on the, on the weekend for her. And uh, recently she became the school's all-time strikeout leader. Yeah. And uh, it seems like she uh, really just continues uh, to get better and better as, as the year goes on. Yeah, absolutely. And we didn't really get an opportunity to celebrate that, you know, milestone for her because we, we dropped game one of Ashland when she actually hit that mark. So it, it's good to see her. You know, we have a lot of ball games left, and she's going to notch a quite a few more strikeouts on that, on that record. So very happy for her, very excited to see what she's going to do down the line you know, over the next few weeks. Obviously a, a big win in game one, nine to nothing, but you come right back in game two and uh, really, really set the tone early, uh, top half of the first inning, six runs, and, and a 14 to zero win in, in the second game against Lake Erie. Right, you know, same thing, uh, kept the bats going and, and hit well, and we're aggressive on the bases. When you're up, you know, you're up, you can be even more aggressive on the bases than we were. So, uh, you know, we probably just tallied a few more runs in there than, than we would if it was a zero zero ball game. What, uh, what type of adjustments do you make going from one game to the second game, and, and, and how does that work in softball? Well, the big thing is because you, know, you always play double headers, and so you have to be able to, the team has to be able to separate the two games. Without a doubt, you have momentum going in if you win game one, but you know, we can't allow that 9-0 that you know, victory to, to stay in our heads and, not, um, and, and let us think that we automatically have game two. So you have to be able to separate the two and, and attack the second game just as much as you do the first game. As we can uh, see from some of the highlights, beautiful facility at Davenport mm -hmm. University and uh, a nice environment uh, when you have to go on the road. Uh, it seems like your team has, has found a way to win and certainly we were able to do that this past weekend. Yeah, their, their new facility is beautiful. Um, and we're really glad that we're able to find a site, you know, it's close enough to us that we'd be able to get on the road and, and uh, get the games in this weekend. But we had great conditions, the weather was perfect. So no complaints there. Obviously uh, being a, a road uh, series, a uh, little different in terms of travel. Uh, you come back to Big Rapids Friday night and then uh, back uh, right back to the Grand Rapids area on Saturday, taking on a, a Walsh team that uh, maybe came in uh, as a, somewhat of a surprise in terms of their overall record. Yeah, you know, they uh, down and back again, you know, you don't make a big deal out of it. You do what you have to do and get on the road and get back at it in a short drive so it wasn't, you know, that uh, trying on the team. But they surprised, they didn't surprise me. I didn't have a, a ton of expectations going in just kind of you know looking at their record from before I knew they were going to be they were comp you know very competitive in their past league 
um, and but I did see that they lost one of their main pitchers, so I, I didn't know what to expect pitching wise. And their their pitchers were were strong. Obviously, uh, again, uh, a close game, uh, a pair of one run games on on Saturday, and uh, you were able to get some some big hits and. Michelle Tononi, we saw her with a home run and then hit by a pitch uh, yeah. uh, in the eighth inning, and, and that allowed you to win win the game with the bases yeah. loaded. Yeah, she. I was glad to see her get that hit because you know she has not. She's a good hitter, and she hasn't been hitting you know as well as I think she can, and she knows that she can. So it was exciting to see her get that home run. She's not a home run kid, you know, or player. She's not going to hit a you know 15 home runs for us a year. So it was exciting to see her get that. You don't always want to. You know, it's kind of uh, not real. Real fun to win a game with a hit by pitch, but we'll take it. You came uh, back on the second game on Friday with Amy Dunleavy as the pitcher. Uh, she picked up the win Saturday. You come back to Dana Bowler, and then going into game two, uh, you stick with her, and, and she picks up uh, another one-run victory, one to nothing in the in the final game of the weekend. Right. You know, I thought she was the end of that first game on uh, Saturday. I thought she was throwing better towards the end than in the beginning. So we decided to roll with her. She's been, you know, she's been throwing. She's going to be. She's warm. She didn't throw a ton of innings the day before because she threw that perfect game. So we knew that she was going to be okay. Uh, and then we just made sure that you know Emily Carlson and Amy were warm and ready to go if we ever needed that her to either one of them to step in. In the in the second game uh, against Walsh, uh, a, a scoreless game, you're finally able to put a run across uh, in the in the top half of the fourth inning, and and we're able to make a big play uh, in the sixth uh, when you threw out a runner at home plate. Yep, yep. Well, that was the squeeze, right? They were trying to squeeze on us. And uh, Taylor Verbeck, who's a freshman, we've moved her in, I don't know, three different positions. She played second base, caught, and is now at third. And she's just a kid that will play anywhere for you. And so she's she's done a really good job. Um, you know, we may may have been able to just tag that runner, but I, you know, either way we got the out, and that's all. That's what, that's what matters. That's what matters. Bulldogs uh, run their winning streak again to six straight uh, here on the year, and six and two in conference play, and kind of right mm -hmm. where you need to be at this stage here early in the conference season. Yeah, you know, we want to, especially when we're playing, we have some tough teams coming up, you know, next weekend is Grand Valley, um, and then we're on the road with some some pretty tough teams. So we have to be able to, just like we, we talked about last week, is setting the tone early in the conference, building our confidence, and uh, continuing to, to take that through when we start to play some of the, the stronger teams. This week, uh, the Bulldogs taking on Lake Superior State mm -hmm. here early in the week. Uh, if, if the weather allows it to happen uh, here on your home field. And then uh, you mentioned the, the big matchup uh, coming up on Saturday at Grand Valley State. Uh, just talk about these, these two matchups this week. Yeah, um, <clears throat> well, Lake Superior, you know, we're probably going to move that game to Wednesday just to give us one more day of weather and see if we can and have a little bit better conditions. And, and then we're you know, back on the road to Grand Valley on Saturday. Again, a closer trip, so that's nice. Uh, but we'll see what we're made of when we go down to play them. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck again to the Bulldogs this week, and congratulations for more wins uh, this past Great. weekend. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.